All right, what's going on? I haven't made a vid in a while. It's been about, I don't know, about four months. Well, anyway, the coyote's gone, pretty much. Uh, tore it down. And uh, now it's the same thing. Uh, coyote was a 17. Uh, automatic, though. I always got a lot of shit for the automatic. But, man, it was a fucking, it was a good car, man. Held up pretty well. But now it's a 17. With 5k miles. I mean, this car is immaculate, untouched, unmolested. And I've done a few things already within the last maybe two weeks that I've had it. Um, definitely um, gonna add that uh, carbon fiber uh, cow right there. Um, need to do a little bit of work on the edge, but uh, I'll be putting on that hood pretty soon from Anderson Composites. Or I might just think about going with a 350 Anderson Composite hood. I don't know. I got the cow. But I also like this hood as well. You know, both of them are pretty cool. I'll make up my decision later. Anyway, uh, comes with the 19s, 11s in the back, 10.5s in the front. Uh, car's a wider car. That's what I noticed. Uh, um, of course, I got in black just like the Coyote. Um, just love the... Just love the the car this particular model in black it just i don't know something about the murder it out and then with the fiber that's just my style but anyway that's my opinion but i already done within the last couple weeks that i've had it a few mods let me take you on a few that i'm about to do um made to order stainless works long tube headers Khaled, ca <clears throat> excuse me Khaled's mids just came in for the Shelby. Uh, hopefully, I'll be doing this uh, little job pretty pretty soon. See what's going on. Maybe this coming weekend. Uh, first and foremost, started with the Anderson Composite. <clears throat> spoiler. Uh, this particular spoiler, I love. It, it creates downforce, keeps your ass planted to the asphalt. And just the... Just the I don't know, just the lines, man, the way it cuts right here, and it comes in, and it folds back, and then comes up with a wicker build. I mean, it's just, in my opinion, this is this is it. I mean, yeah, you could probably get the integrated trunk uh, spoiler. That is fucking, as well, that is fucking awesome. But this particular one right here, this is awesome as well. And, um... This piece will be coming in, carbon fiber for the back panel. And I got red Shelby signs going on the front and the back. They're they're on their way. So as soon as this piece comes in carbon fiber, I'll be adding the red badge right here. And it'll look pretty clean with the carbon fiber on both sides. Uh, red, red badge, red. I'm still up in the, I don't know, I'm thinking about tinting the lights like I had on the Coyote. I'm still up in the air about tinting. I actually like the clean look, you know. It looks clean with a few parts. I don't want, really want to mod it too much because once you start, you know, going down that direction, you know. Anyway, so over the weekend, um, I was looking for some quads, right? Because, of course, I have an active exhaust, so I got lucky, man. I picked up these uh, Corsa right here, if you can see. Quad exhaust right here. And that will be going with... Now, let me take you for a little ride real quick. That will be going with... Excuse the mess. This is a working garage. Uh, with my Corsa X-Pipe and Corsa exhaust right here. So I have the long tubes, catless mids going into... X pipe uh, helix from Corsa, and then of course the Corsa uh, extremes. And uh, you already know how fucking epic that shit's gonna sound. We got some cool bad uh, banners right here, pretty cool racing banners, Yokohamas, Nitos, so forth. Pretty cool. Uh, also, um, I went ahead and did the carbon fiber uh, mirror covers right here. Uh, it was look look pretty clean and shit. I actually like it. Um, 
I'm getting I'm getting close to getting some of the fiber. I'm thinking the next probably move since I got the hood right there. I'm thinking probably the next move will be a splinter. And definitely these uh winglets right here, carbon fiber. I would I would love to have these carbon fiber, but goddamn, seven bills. Whew. Anyway. Yeah. So uh the front. Um Keep it copacetic, nothing too fancy. Uh, red badge on the side, uh, getting rid of the silver as well. And uh, this hood, I love this hood. Epic. Uh, designed for good airflow and so forth. But man, you know, that carbon fiber hood I love as well. But I don't know, maybe I could catch a deal and talk to Anderson Composite since I bought a few hoods from him. Get a good deal on one of these hoods right here for the 350. Keep it stock, but also carbon fiber. Uh, we'll see how that goes. And um, of course, since I've named this project Black Mamba, uh, we have some uh, Shelby Black Snake emblems to go on the side. These as well will be black, and that will be carbon fiber as well. Comes with, um, of course, with the fronts, uh, 10.5s, uh, awesome Michelin sports, great tires, of course, Brembo brakes, uh, drilled, drilled rotors. Uh, she has some, definitely some good stopping power, which is good, you know, with a car like this. And these are the long tubes right here. Man, they were fucking expensive. <laughs> but, uh, shit, you know, save your money and, uh, you know, know some good people and, you know, you get deals. That's the way it goes in the racing world. It's who you know. Anyway, let me take you inside of this fucking car. Now check this shit out. So the car already, as you come in the car, please excuse this little part right here. I haven't gotten <laughs> that detailing clean like I should. Anyway, um, has a nice suede right here. That the basic GTs or whatever. Uh, maybe the performance packs, uh, I think they do come with them. I, I believe the 18 and 19s. And probably so for the 20s. Uh, need to definitely clean the inside. The inside is a little dirty. But anyway, uh, for the performance on the sills. And um, shit, awesome ass steer wheel I got from uh, CJ Pony Parts. Bill Tumas hooked me up with a 5%. And um, shit, easy install. Always goes smooth. It's probably been like my third one I've done. Uh course end gauge in in place uh data log and, and so forth getting ready to get it on the e85 lung tune and um yeah it's pretty awesome comes with that six speed um red racing of course uh start stop pretty cool and uh got rid of that bunk ass shift knob from uh ford and got me this uh Bright uh, fire red GT350 with a shift on the top. Pretty cool. Like it. And that's the way the steering wheel looks. Emblem in the middle. Let you know what you know you're cruising and definitely what you're fucking investing in. Steering wheel is immaculate, of course. <coughs> Excuse me. Of course, no tape or anything. The red's already built in into the carbon fiber, which I love. Awesome, awesome steering wheel, man. If you ever have a car, oh shit, one of these Mustangs, invest in this steering wheel. This this steering wheel is just fucking ridiculous. It comes, of course, and cut on the bottom, gives it that little race car effect. You know what I'm saying? So definitely cope aesthetic. And pretty fucking clean, you know, like like they say, man, it's really not about the hard plastic and all the little 
you know, gadgets and this and that. It's really about the performance and the 5.2, 82 RPMs right there, 8,200. When the time's right, she'll scream like she's never screamed before. Pretty cool. Yeah, this car's growing on me, slowly but surely. Very slowly. But she's growing on me. And yeah, that's basically it. Keep it clean. Keep it keep it awesome. And um shit. It's just You know what? Since we're here, let's just uh, let's see what we got. See if I could angle <laughs> since I don't got nobody to help me right now. Let's see what I could do and show y'all. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see what we got here. Let me get me a blade. Got a good blade. Hope I don't cut myself, <laughs> which I won't. First of all, let me just say that this is professionally wrapped. Um, spare no expense on the wrapping, bubble wrapped. Uh, kind of like this paper that they put in, you know, for for the extra, you know, new spots. Definitely love the packing. Uh, I see the instruction manual. I see a few things. Let's go ahead and um, let's see what we got here. So first and foremost, let's start with the header. Let's go ahead. Cut one open and see how it looks. So Black Mamba gets long tube headers within two or three weeks. And a few great mods to start off this Shelby project. You know, I've seen a lot of Shelby's on the web and I'm not knocking on nobody, definitely. But this will be a badass project to follow. I guarantee it. Not gonna be the best. Not gonna be awesome, awesome. I mean, I can't compete with those. No, I'm just a blue collared motherfucker. You know, I can't compete with vendors and I can't compete with shops and stuff like that. Like I said, but I got great, great, great people around me, man. And I, I know a lot of vendors that are always willing to help a, a guy like me out, man. The blue collared motherfucker. All right. Taking my time, you know, I'm not trying to scratch up anything. Get this bottom piece real quick. And then I'll give y'all one little peek of the one, I believe it's a one and seven eight long tube stainless works Heather and also Catless Mids 
Okay, first, uh, I got the product open, and let me tell you, I'm literally impressed. I love the, first and foremost, I love the thickness of the flange. Very thick. Um, okay, I'm just kind of looking a few things over. Uh, they definitely have pride in their work, as you can see. Or let me go ahead and show you. They definitely have pride in their work. They start off by a nice thick flange, uh, stainless works, uh, their little emblem, and their emblem on the side, which is definitely pretty cool. This is it. Nice airflow. Awesome product. Made when ordered. Uh, looks like a lot of this welding is literally brand new. Doesn't look like it's been welded for too long. But this is it. Uh, for the O2, looks there. Looks good. Nice threads see that but um, what I do notice and this is what I do notice is the pride in their product they literally on the flange they, um, they had to uh, use maybe like a some type of uh, I don't know cutting tool or something right here I know there's a lot of uh, machines that would do this type of work Maybe like a high high power uh, water jet or something, you know, that they used to cut out little designs on metals. But anyway, um, the fact that they uh, cut out their uh, logo on the flange and they put their logo on the side tells me a lot that they believe in their product and they want to advertise their work, which pretty mean, which pretty much means that they're you know they're they're very proud of their work and their products and awesome got some clamps which I, which I need and the mids as well so I could hook them up either way I could hook them up to the header or I could hook them up right here it's gonna be awesome and they tell you which one is which they're they're even giving you a little heads up pretty cool Oh my god, awesome. And they provided fucking stickers and and fucking extensions right there. A hundred percent I believe in this product. And oh my god, look at this. Look at this diagram. Awesome. Let's see if I can show y'all real quick. Give me a second. Yeah, and that's basically, uh, let's see if I can get rid of this glare. Give me a second. And that's it. Right there. Give you a little illustration of how it looks. And um, tells you exactly what comes in there. Uh, you know, obviously the build materials. Date. And um, man, I'm just I'm I'm 100% impressed with stainless work. 100% impressed. And that's gonna be for the Shelby, which is hopefully I'll get it done this weekend. I also want to do springs. I want to drop it down, give it a nice little sinister look. And uh, there's no reason to change the wheels. I love these wheels. The 11s are, are 11s and 10 and a half in the front are working, brand new tires. So why go down, down that route, you know? You, my motto is like, use them up and go after other things that you need. Like, 
like that front carbon fiber splinter and the, the fiber hood, you know, knock those things out and then you can jump back on wheels or whatever. But yeah, there's no point on touching wheels right now. That's that'll be pretty much a waste right now to get rid of these wheels, which are literally brand new and the tires are literally brand new. So, you know, we won't go down that route. But then of course we'll finish it off the exhaust with um yeah the course of the quads for the back exhaust which will look epic so these things i mean i really i really enjoy putting these things together it's gonna be awesome i know i'm definitely gonna have some help so um yeah stay tuned and uh we'll be coming back to you shortly see ya